Hello friends, welcome to Bell Fountain, Ohio. Not Bell Fountain, it's Bell Fountain. I grew up pretty close to here. This is where our ski hill was. I definitely knew where to come to go skiing and snowboarding. I did not know at the time, however, in my younger years, that the highest point in Ohio was right here. I'm here on some campus of a school, a lot of construction going on. I'm looking for a high point. I see a high point but I don't see a marker yet. There's a gate that closes this off at a certain time. You cannot get the car back here because of the construction. So I'm just wandering around. I believe we have found it, my friends. This marker next to the rotating radio, it looks like, or satellite dish looking thing, is in remembrance of the young men and women of the 664th Aircraft Control and Warning Squadron of the United States Air Force, not the high point. The high point is just a few parking spaces over to the right, right here. Here we stand at 1,549 feet above sea level at the highest point in Ohio. Highest point, Ohio. X marks the spot. Campbell Hill, named after Charles D. Campbell, landowner. This placard below the American flag here is commemorating the radar over there. That's a radar and the 664th group of brave young men and women. thoroughly enjoying the weather here in Bell Fountain. Central Ohio is a really beautiful place. As you can see, nearly everything from here, it is pretty out here. The weather's nice today. It's about 75, 78 degrees, light breeze. Very peaceful up here. I'm glad that they opened this up for the public, even though it seems like a private school here. Before we leave, I wanna check out the visitor registration information. Sign the book. It seems as though water has intruded the guest list. Some other information here, like uh, an old, old article and a QR code. Ah, neat. You can write yourself a certificate. You've been here. We'll definitely be doing this. So points of interest. Looks like nothing's interesting around here. Au contraire, friends. There's one more stop that we will be making here in Bell Fountain before we leave. Highest point is pretty neat, huh? I love finding these. A few days back, I was up in the UP, the Upper Peninsula of Michigan, and the highest point in Michigan is up there. And it was six more hours past where I was. Michigan is entirely too big. It's, it's, such, it's such a big state. Too big for me to drive around in that one day's time to go see the high point. But one of these days, my friends, I'd like to make it to all 50 high points. Been to a few already. I bet these construction workers don't even know that the high point's right up here. From what I gather, it's the Ohio High Point School. Appropriate. Bell Fountain is not only the home of the Ohio High Point Career Center that we were just at, it's also the home of a very historical item of our country, the oldest paved road in the United States. In 1886, George Bartholomew moved to town and had dreams of using his concrete to pave the streets here. And in 1893, his dreams became a reality right here on this street, the very first paved street in the United States. All around the statue and tribute to George is this information about his concrete and his life 
in the street. First concrete pavement. There was a water main break on this street back in the 50s and they had to tear up the concrete and then replace it with pavement. But since then, it has been re-concreted over as you can see here. I'm not sure if any of this is original. There might be some of the original concrete here. Heck, a lot of this might be original. I'm not really sure. There's nothing here that says so, but take it from me and history. This is it. This is the first paved street. Just the other day, I was in downtown Detroit with my friend Brett, and he pointed out that M1, or Woodward Avenue downtown Detroit, is the first paved road. So we looked it up and found out that here in Bell Fountain is actually the first paved road. But if you do some research on this yourself, you will find that both streets are listed as original paved roads. I'm not really sure on the details of that. Maybe one was asphalt and one was concrete. This is definitely concrete. It started as concrete, then it was paved again, in the 50s. I don't know if asphalt was used at that time or not, but here we are on a concrete street, that's for sure. Asphalt has definitely been used at Woodward Avenue in downtown Detroit, as you saw from the video the other day. But that was paved over in 1909. This was in 1893. There's not really clear information that I could find yet on the date of the paving of Woodward Avenue, but let's take it from most sources online and just accept that this is the oldest along with our good friends in Detroit's street up there too. This is on the opera block they call it. It's like a building getting some renovations likely the opera house. Next to the beautiful Logan County Courthouse built in 1870. Just a few years before the street was paved. not sure what I'm looking at here, but there are these two rows that go all the way down the street. Maybe that was where some uh, rail car or uh, electric car or something was, was going through this area and they covered it up. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Here in the back side of the courthouse, the street ends. I'm also not sure if it was paved all the way down there, but just uh, assuming that this was the only section of the street that was paved. We're doing some work here and you can see it's about four inches thick of new concrete. Nice work, George Bartholomew, for your concrete passion, paving the streets of Ohio. Thanks for joining me today, friends, here in Bell Fountain. Nice little town. If you're in the Western Ohio area, drop in, check out the oldest street in America. Maybe stop up to the highest point in Ohio. Leave your mark. Thanks friends for joining me, I really appreciate it. I'll see you in the next video.